Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. When it comes to Android phones, nobody knows more than Jason Howell, the producer of Tech News Tonight. I like the sound. Uh, of Tech that. News Today, and of course, the host of All About Android. Yeah. So we always give him the uh, Android phones. Although I'm holding out for the LG G3 when that comes. Yeah, it looks out. pretty. Looks pretty fantastic. That's an interesting phone. Yes. In this case, this you got different. the Hydro vibe. This is where my job is particularly challenging, <laughs> right? Because I have my hands in the best Android devices, top of the line, uh, high end specs. And when you're handed a phone that's kind of low to mid-range, you can't compare them to the high range or the, the high-end specs, right? Because people that are buying a phone like the Hydro Vibe, it's $150 off contract, uh, you know, maybe $20 on contract. Uh, maybe they just don't have the money to spend on high-end specs. So it's how much value do you get for the money that you do pay. In many ways, it's a shame that the the phone market is so focused on specs and right. high-end. Uh, these are, in general, very competent uh, phones. It's an That's, Android phone. What yes. version of Android is that? Uh, this is Android 4.3, so it's Jelly Bean. It's still, right. still kind of behind the curve. It's not quite KitKat yet. Uh, but it is Jelly Bean, and you know, it's, Jelly Bean's not a bad version of the Android OS necessarily. <laughs> Hopefully, it gets updated at right. some point. Uh, it's a 1.2 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon, 1.5 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of internal storage. Though it does have a micro SD card slot, uh, I believe it's behind Somewhere. the battery cover. Yeah, All right. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I actually, I actually couldn't figure out how to get the cover off. Every time I try, I feel like I'm going to snap but it. But that's good news. A removable battery. Yes, I actually uh, like that. I yep. look for that. Yep. 2,000 milliamp hour removable battery. There's an 8 megapixel rear facing camera that's on the back. Good. All right. uh, 2 megapixel front facing camera. You'll notice that there's no hole up here for the ear, right? And that's where. Where's the headphone it's jack? It's a smart sonic. Oh, well, the headphone jack is up on the top. Oh, well, what are you See? talking about then? So I'm talking about the your speaker. earphone for, oh, oh. For, for making calls. Yeah. It's not up there. Basically, it's done through what they call a smart sonic receiver. It uses vibrations to transmit the sound through your ear cartilage. <laughs> Wait a minute. That, well, basically, they're saying we were too cheap to cut through the case? I don't understand. What yeah, are they it, saying? It vibrates here? the whole phone, and that vibration actually amplifies it even in noisy... <sighs> How does that it's work? okay. It's a little tinny, Can I you guess. hear? Yeah, you can hear. You can hear, and it but sounds all right. It's good, fine for uh, phone calls. Probably not so great for listening to music. Or yeah, I mean, you know, you're not going to hold... Well, you're going to have to press the phone to your Hopefully, ear. you're not going to press the phone up to your ear to, to listen okay. to music, necessarily. Um, is there a... There, 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 is there, is a speak, there is a speaker on the back. Okay. But I'm talking about straight-up phone calls. You know, Interesting. Not, you know, it's, it does that vibration. Kind of interesting approach. Uh, it does have wireless charging. It's a Power Matters Alliance PMA-enabled wireless charging, so that's kind of nifty. It's LTE-capable. It's IP. 57 that's water and resistant or uh, water and dust resistant that's why it's called the hydro vibe so behind the battery case uh, on the outside it actually seals it up on the inside I, so you can get it wet I love the slogan live more fear less <laughs> well the screen they also say is kind of impact uh, resistant okay. so right. it has it's a All little right. extra tough toughness there Dr. Mom's asking the chairman is a good question is there a speakerphone mode I guess because there's a speaker on the back, you can still be. use yeah. it in speakerphone mode. I would it's imagine It's just that, that there most is. of the time when you have the phone up to your head, you're going to use this. <laughs> what do you do when you need to call a fake number? Let's five, see. Five, five, one, Put two, it one, in a speakerphone. Can we... Yeah, speaker on. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. It's there. Um, it worked. Right. I noticed I noticed with calls just in general, the call quality wasn't that great. Um, it was a little kind of... I don't know, like I said, a little tinny mm -hmm. to hear, mm -hmm. and just in general, it's it's hard to not you know it's hard to resist knocking Sprint only because Sprint coverage here is really poor, so it's kind of hard to put it on a on a level playing field. In San Francisco, I was there for a day and used it a couple of times, and it still was kind of iffy there as well. Is this Sprint only? Uh, it's Sprint, uh, primarily Sprint, and it's Virgin, if I'm not mistaken. So it is a CDMA yep. firm. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Right. Now, so let's see here. So the display, you know, it's not a super duper high res. It's 960 by 540. It's a 4.5 inch IPS QHD display, so that's about 245 pixels per inch. But I thought the display was actually kind of one of the stronger suits. It doesn't have to be super high res, and being, <laughs> I can't believe that I'm going to consider 4.5 inches a smaller screen, but <laughs> in this day and age, I do. Still bigger than the iPhone. Uh, so the, res the resolution holds up at that at that size. Um, I got to say, the camera, and you could load up a few of those, uh, those samples that I put into the TriCaster. The camera is a big Achilles heel on this phone. Um, it was out day, outdoors. This was 
probably one of the better photos that I got. Still kind of a little, just kind of dull, drab, washed out. Drab, yeah. Yeah, this, I, man, I tried, I really tried, because if you can see in this photo, it's a dog carrying another dog in a backpack. And you can't see that very side well, pack. can you? And yeah. I tried and tried and tried to get the best picture possible, and there was a, there's a lag when I'd hit the shutter. Yeah. You know, you'd, you'd think you hit it, and then about half a second to a second later, it would finally go off. Um, it was just kind of flat. It couldn't really catch its autofocus very well. Uh, depended on, you know, I, I got a couple of good photos. This is definitely not one of them. This is super dark. dark and then yeah. the video, and this was indoors um, with pretty ample light, and it just kind of came out uh, blurry. So this is fun. Watch this one. It's and very shaky. It gets, Are you on a... It's a little exciting what here the when heck? you suddenly end up on a roller coaster. I'm not sure exactly what happened here, uh, but I don't like what good. I saw. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, wow. Uh, you know, I did record other video and they didn't do this, but it's probably good, you know, important to point this out. Uh, all in all, not very impressed with the camera performance. Uh, but performance of the system in general, pretty great. Like I said, it's a quad core Snapdragon uh, processor. I was gaming, I did Riptide GP2, which has a high, you know, a lot of, a lot of action going on at, at, on the screen at once, and um, it handled it really well. Um, what else? Standby time was really bad. Uh, I, at least I thought it was bad. Other reviews don't seem to point it out, but I would, if, you know, if, if I left it unplugged overnight, which I like to do with test phones just to see how they do, this one would be really low by the end of the night. Um, mm, that's not good. And ba but the battery performance when I was operating it and yeah. using it regularly did all right. It got okay. me through the day. So, um, I'm not sure why that would be different between standby and uh, regular So let's use. do the pros and cons. Yes, let's get there. Pros, obviously uh, what it's all about, dust, water, impact, resistance, uh, that's great. LTE for $150, when you compare oh, it nice. to the Moto E at 129, that's 3G, yeah. and the Moto G at 179, which is 3G. Right. Uh, so if LTE is important to you, you got it here. Uh, there is a hardware uh, camera button Ooh, if you if you so choose to yeah. use the camera. It's awfully thick too. Look at that. Yeah, it's got it's got a little bit of thickness. Yeah. I kind of expect that on the lower end phones so. though for yeah. for whatever reason. But uh, I kind of like the fact that there's a hardware camera button and the wireless charging, of course, is pretty cool for this price point. Uh, Cheat charging? Stay uh, no, 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 no. It's uh, what is it? Power Matters it's Alliance PMA enabled. Okay. Wireless charging. So that's charging. a separate kind of charging. Yeah, yeah. but uh, but nifty nonetheless. Yeah. Cons definitely the camera, and I'd say the battery for the most part uh, gave me reason to be concerned. Uh, overall, like I said, it's hard to review a device like this when you're used to re reviewing high-end devices. I probably have to give it a try only because of where it sits in the price point between phones that we know are pretty darn good like the Moto G and I haven't played with the Moto E yet, but uh, everything that I've read and heard about it says that it's pretty good for the price. So, right. um, you know, LTE kind of stands out uh, as well as uh, just being impact dust and water resistant. And just to prove it, just because I like no, to do this. No, no, no. Uh, I'll go ahead and you take really, this gigantic this? twit mug. You yes, are brave. And the ports don't have covers, so you know we'll see. <sighs> we'll see what happens. We'll get it in there. And it's dead. oh, it's doing stuff. No, Look at that. that's not good. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well. Well, there you go. The Kyocera Toxic Hell Stew. <laughs> the uh, this is version. This is 1. the toxic health right just here. made some right there. 